make some noise if you know what the keto diet is. <laughs> Not my people. Um, <laughs> for those who don't know what keto is, it's when you replace carbs with um, delusion. <laughs> And by delusion, I mean cauliflower. <laughs> it's mostly cauliflower. Keto pizza, cauliflower. Keto potatoes, cauliflower. Keto rice, cauliflower. Keto happiness, cauliflower. Keto broken dreams, cauliflower. Keto lemon cake, cauliflower. Actually, that one's almond meal. <laughs> You get my point. I just think if you're replacing parts of your life with cauliflower, I don't think you're on a diet. I think you're being dumb. <laughs> Everyone knows about keto breath, but the real issue is the oily shits. <laughs> Do you know what an oily shit feels like? <laughs> Nothing. You're dry one minute, and then the next minute, a wet warmth. <laughs> you know those cars that get abandoned in the driveway and they have to be towed away? And as they're getting towed away, you see an oil drip. <laughs> That's my asshole. I've lost friends to keto. <laughs> I'd rather lose a friend to crack. <laughs> because a friend on crack doesn't try to convince me to try crack <laughs> so that I can be my best self. <clears throat> a friend on crack tries, actually, I don't know what a friend on crack does <laughs> because they don't go on about it. <laughs> They're just out there respecting my boundaries. Speaking of segues, um, <laughs> what happened to them? Just a mode of transport completely gone. <laughs> anyway, I'm a mum. Yeah, I'm not sexual anymore. The closest I've been to having an orgasm is when the kid, the annoying kid at daycare, fell over and hit his head. <laughs> it felt so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sexual. Um, I watched Magic Mike. And when he ripped his pants off, I just thought, well, I guess he needs a nappy change. <laughs> I'm just saying stripper clothes and toddler clothes have a lot in common. Is that a big dick? Or is that a massive shit? <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm sniffing it. <laughs> <laughs> they say being a mum is the hardest job in the world. I think it's true. But the skills are not transferable. I'll give you an example. Um, I can tell from the smell of a fart how close a poo is. <laughs> Not just my babies, everyone's. <laughs> how do I re-enter the workforce with that? <laughs> Imagine me in the office. Smells like Brian's gonna take a shit at 1.45. <laughs> Smells like Sue started keto on Friday. <laughs> the worst ones are the farts that should have been a shit half an hour ago. <laughs> And that's why I have to work from home. <laughs> All right, thank you.